Hello everyone, greetings. Do you hear that? That's the cicada. It sounds like one lone cicada. How sad would that be? An entire tree with just one cicada? Spent 17 years under the ground and now he's gone. Hi everyone, it's Emmy. I am back to do another candy making kit. Today I have this. Ta-da! Makaku kaku dobutsu. This candy making kit is making little animal lollipops. So it's made by the company Chris. You can get four different styles. You can get the Inu Neko, which is the dog and the cat. You can get the Zo and the, what's that, Usagi, which is the elephant and rabbit. Or you can get the Kirin Kuma, which is the giraffe or bear. And the last one, you can get the Rayon or, and Panda. I got the giraffe! Awesome! Look, here's a little, this is the mold. Super cute. So you probably could save this for something else if you wanted to make, um, chocolates or something. Look how cute! It's really small. Oh my gosh. I've never seen lollipop sticks this small. And two packets of chew candy. Did you go on them? So that's it. And basically what you do is you are, we're gonna put the dough into the molds and then we're gonna press it together. You just fill it any way you want. I'm just gonna follow what they did on the package. So I'm going to start with the pink, roll the pink, and put them into the little divots for the paws, for the... giraffe. Now, a toothpick probably would be helpful if you have one. Are these called antlers or horns? What do you call these on a giraffe? The little things on the top. For the bear, he seems to have yellow paws, no, a yellow belly, and a yellow face. Alright, so there's that, and then he seems to have pink paws. So there's the little paws, and make it kind of thin, and then we're gonna put the popsicle stick in there like that. Make sure you pack it in there really tightly. Otherwise, you're going to have some gaps. Okay, so that's half. Next, I'm going to do the back. So, giraffe and tiny yellow tail. So, I'll put a tiny little bit in his tail, like that. All right, so there's the two halves. Now we're just gonna put this half on top. You can kind of see through it and press it together. Give it a kind of wiggle. Ha ha, look how cute. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. You can just use another stick and get the extra off. So stinking cute. And then carefully wiggle it out. So these came out really, really nicely. I was really impressed. The molds, I would definitely keep the molds. And you could definitely use any other kind of candies. Starburst or... A Starburst would be a little bit sticky. Um, but I think you could use maybe Haichu or something like that. Um, whatever you could find in, in colors. But ready? Let's eat Bear's head. Ready? Here we go. Itadakimasu. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Artificial strawberry flavor. Nice and tangy. It's a great it's like a Japanese chew. Quite sweet. I think a little bit sweeter than high chew and not as chewy as high chew, but very similar. A little bit grittier in texture. Um, same kind of soft candy chew idea though. Really good. And let's take off little Kirin's head. Here we go. At the Nakimas. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't stick to your teeth. And nice and lemony. Not as lemony as a Starburst, but I think I like the lemon better than the strawberry. But there are my headless creatures. Mm. Not super hard to put together. It's a little bit tedious to put the the candies in the little tiny holes, but you certainly don't have to do that. I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll put some other 
candy making videos that I've done here if you're interested. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. So hot. <laughs>